Okay, so I'm at Urcha with uh, Bert Kammerer, and we're at the uh, BK BK tent. Designs tent, yeah. BK Design tent, uh, where I got a good deal on switchblades before. Yep. Thank you very much, Bert. Um, and I've asked Bert to just give an overview of the BK servos um, and the different types. Cool. So, so away. you're looking at our cordless line. Our okay. cordless line is like the most popular line because okay. it's the least expensive. So starting from smaller to bigger, the Micro 3001 model. Okay. Um, all the guys are using these on small micro machines. Anything small from the brand machines. new Fireball okay. all the way up to like a Goblin 380 or a T-Rex. Uh, you know, anything okay. that's in the, even a Mini Protos, anything mini that Protos, requires, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. small micro. Next up, we got the Mini which is a mid-size of course okay and then this is like an awesome servo because it's got so much power it's almost the same power as a full-size servo okay. and a mini case okay so guys with goblin 500s guys with nx4s from gawi guys mm -hmm. from uh, t-rex 500s they all use this stuff mm -hmm. and then we have the most popular of all servos our 7002 this is i what, think i have one of those yeah in my center it's what cal stacy flies um this thing retails for a hundred dollars full okay. price um, it's got super fast speed, 0.05, almost 300 ounce inches of torque. Mm -hmm, so it's mm -hmm. really strong servo. Um, obviously, full size servo, so full any 700, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then this is the old version of that, which we still have in okay. production. Okay. The difference is the case, it's not as fancy, uh -huh. and it's, it has a different board, so it's not as efficient power wise. But okay. specs wise, it's almost the same, almost and it's same. only a $10 yeah, yeah, difference. Yeah. And this is our high torque. This is. Only, honestly, this this is a brand new servo to us. Okay. This is more suitable. I wouldn't say it's not for helicopters, but it's great for like a giant scale aircraft, okay. you know, planes, some of the RC. Something servos. where you need like high torque, maybe yeah. not as much speed. Very, very high torque. This okay. thing is pushing like almost 600 ounces, like okay. 560 something. Okay. So you know, some of the speed machine guys like that high torque stuff, you know, because mm -hmm. it keeps their heli tracking yeah, better. Yeah, I got you. And they don't, don't need, need to do the, the high direction. torque. I meant to say, yeah, yeah they don't yeah. need the speed. So that's it for the. Uh, and our little bug enjoys our micro yeah. server there. <laughs> so that's it for the coreless. And okay. this is the brushless line. We only have two on the brushless side okay. right here. We have an 8001, 8002. This okay. is high torque, this is high speed. Alrighty. So again, speed people, people with large, large aircraft, mm -hmm. they prefer the high torque. Um, one of our good friends, Kerry Shirley, he pushes gassers. All those yeah, guys like yeah, the higher yeah. torque, so they like this one. 8002 is pretty much the opposite. High speed, lower torque. Okay. Great for overall 700 3D flight. Okay. Um, and then we have our new uh, shorty here. This is mainly for aircraft that require like a low profile servo yet okay. in full size. Not so suitable for helicopters to okay. be honest with you. Okay. It's not even worth talking about yeah. it much, but Well, no, I mean, uh, it, you're, it looks like you're covering all the bases. I mean, you trying. have something for speed, 3D, planes you're covering yeah, literally we're trying. Like all so a lot of people ask bases. well why 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 coreless or brushless sorry versus mm -hmm. coreless okay well some people like brushless it's just a state of mind i guess you know brushless lasts longer because it's a brushless motor as opposed uh -huh. to a coreless motor but it also comes at a higher price you know yeah, 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 um I, i'm a poor salesman because i like to make more money and sell these i've heard you say this but i'm always before. favoring the coreless because to me it has a better feel in flight yeah. it's cheaper yeah. it's it's just a, a more yeah. trouble free servo i've heard you say that before. Less electronics in it and yeah, so forth. Yeah. And then as we move around, we have our tail servos right here. And these are all mixed. We have cordless and brushless. So our most popular okay. servo, starting from the little, the micro here, 3005, again all for right. micro helis, like fireballs, like small T Rexes, mini protos, so forth. And then moving up, we have our two full sizes right here. Well, let's skip that. The minis. Okay. So we have a true mini here, which right. is again NX4, Goblin 500, and so forth. Model 5005. And our other mini here, which has a full size top. This is a full okay. servo because it's a hybrid servo. In other words, it has lightweight because it's a mini servo, but it's okay. you can install it on a helicopter that requires a full size servo because it's got a full size top. Mm -hmm. Now, if you want to move it to a helicopter that needs a mini top, uh, a mini size servo instead, you just change the top. Oh, wow. the top separately, okay. so it's a multi size servo. Multi size. So yeah. it's going between mini and full size yeah, servo. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Wow. And then here's our uh, our brushless version of, okay. of the one I showed you earlier. So this is the high end brushless 8005. Again, good overall servo for tail servo for any 700 okay. class or okay. 600 class. So there you have it. It's a little confusing, but not really. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we're here at Urcha. Thanks Sweet. for the interview. All right. I mean, once you go through, it all makes sense. You know, it kind of does. Get, it like... takes a little bit to get used to all the different models. Yeah. But yeah, um, you know, and and 
the only thing that I can say that I get some questions from people again, and, I, and I'm being repetitive here, yeah, cordless, yeah. brushless, get what you want to get. Yeah. And all the manufacturers yeah. making both, whether it is our brand, whether it is any other brand, doesn't matter. The reason why I personally prefer the cordless is because the cordless accelerates faster from center. Uh -huh. And even though the, the speed might be equal okay. to the speed okay. of a, a brushless, okay. um, the brushless is more of a linear acceleration, the cordless okay. is more instant, so okay. we're only moving the servos 10, 20, 30 degrees yeah, and fly yeah, whenever it goes yeah. 60 degrees. Yeah. So you yeah. get a more instant feel. So even okay. though the speed might be the same as the brushless, it does okay. feel faster. And that's one of the reasons why I like okay. it. It's simple. And, and you know, I know from people in the hobby, it's like, you know, if they ever, I know that you provide really good customer service. Yeah. We so try. I know, we I try. know it's been pretty good because I know one or two people, well, I know one person, like, they contact me and say, hey, I think I got something or I broke something in here. And, yeah. I, and they told me, like, oh, Bert hooked me up and took care of it. Like, yeah, we fast. take pride in our customer service. So, I'm a hobbyist myself. You you're know, obviously you know, I started you know flying I mean. like anybody else and I still fly like anybody else. Yeah. So, I got a lot of help back in the day from a lot of people in the club. Yeah and elsewhere <laughs> and the least I could do is just give back you know so, sweet man cool. sweet all right well thank you very much thanks for dude I appreciate time. it man thanks a thank lot, you man. thanks dude